Good morning, everyone. Thank you for being a little patient with us. We had some technical difficulties this morning, but I really do appreciate everybody sticking with us. Um, if you are just joining right now, we're a couple of minutes late to start, but that's okay. We're going to get going with everything. My name is Scott Morris. Welcome back to our retailer webinar series. I am the business development director for gaming for GTS distribution. I am joined today by Matt Felici, who is the marketing manager for Skybound Games. And we're going to talk about one of the most awesome party games that's on the market right now called Super Fight. Um, you're probably familiar with it. It's been out for a couple of years, but it is very, very popular. Um, and we have a promotion that we're running with this as well. So I want to make sure everybody knows about it. Um, between today, February 12th of 2020, uh, man, how's it February 12th already? Between uh, February 12th of 2020 and next Wednesday, February 19th of 2020, if you buy a core deck from us at GTS, you will be eligible to get a free expansion for the game as well with your order, pending availability and, and stock. So there are a lot of expansions, as you can see here on the right. There, there's pretty much any kind of gamer you are, whether you like geeky stuff or horror movies or even Street Fighter, they've got stuff for you. And I don't want to steal too much of Matt's thunder on that. I'll let him kind of talk through it. But just know that basically, if you've carried Super Fight in the past, it's a great opportunity to get a restock on the core game and get an expansion for free. Um, and then if you haven't tried Super Fight, this is a great opportunity to learn more about it, a little bit more about Skybound and what they're doing and, and kind of how this is their foundation game, so to speak. It's also perfect timing because like Trial by Trolley just came out, which is another party game by Super Fight or by uh, Today. Skybound. Today, so, yeah. Yeah, great, great opportunity to kind of get all the information. Um, as I always remind everybody, as I say, everything is on the table. You're welcome to ask any kind of questions you'd like. Um, there is a chat window that if you hover over your uh, uh, main computer window, there's a little chat bubble you can pop up and you can either send a message to all the panelists, which are myself, Matt and Jessica, our sales director, um, or you can send it to all panelists and attendees so everyone will be able to see the questions. Feel free to ask anything you like in there. Matt, you don't have to worry about paying attention to that. I will pay attention to that. And sure. as questions pop up, I'll let you know and uh, we will take it from there. Great. With that, I'm gonna take my face that was made for radio and let it shut up. And I'm gonna let you take over talking about all the awesome things from Skybound, okay? <laughs> sure, yeah. I mean, we'll, we'll get started with Super Fight. You know, Super Fight obviously being our evergreen title that's just constantly coming out with expansions, constantly, um, you know, uh, moving tons of units every single year, every single convention we go to and every holiday. Um, Super Fight continues to stay at the forefront. Um, it is in big stores, it's in little stores, it's everywhere. And it's, it's crazy to me that every time we're at a convention and we sell this game, we constantly have people coming up to us asking us what are the new expansions out because they want to collect every single one of them. Um, now, there are a lot of them, so it, I can understand how um, it could be tough to, say, market all these different expansions. And since they're all so small, I think a lot of customers would look past them, um, especially if you have them kind of set us off to the side. Maybe you have the base game someplace, and then you have a couple expansions next to it. Um, but I did want to share a couple practices that we use um, at conventions uh, that might help you move some uh, in, right in your stores, on top of obviously this promotion to maybe help you get some more expansions in the store. So what I want to start with is obviously our newest ones that were out, that came out last holiday, the sci-fi deck, mythology deck, and the nerdy dirty deck. Uh, those are obviously, now the, uh, is the super fight um, sell sheet still up on the screen, Scott? Yes. Okay, yes. great. And so we might have some new expansions later this year. We haven't announced anything yet. Uh, we haven't had anything. We're currently working with Trial by Trolley, which Scott mentioned earlier, which is another party game. It's going to have the same kind of model where we're going to be releasing expansions every year. Um, basically, the lower priced uh, core deck and then just constantly adding to it every year. One thing that um, Scott had mentioned to help sell through stuff and that we had talked about was bundling some expansions together. So we have like say two different an uh, anime decks, which are our pink decks. Putting those in the same, maybe even rubber banding them together or however you wanna present them in your store, uh, you could offer a discount, you don't have to offer a discount. Uh, but generally if one person who is into anime who really likes Super Fight, they might want that anime deck, but they don't know that there's two different ones out. So having them together will give you an opportunity at that very time to sell both of them. Uh, I have put a couple together, you know, like say even like the horror deck and the walking dead deck, having them both together uh, could hit that customer, you know, right off the bat, 15, 15 a piece is $30. That's as much as the core game, you know? So 
um, creating these little bundles of the same uh, decks is always going to help you. And we generally do that at the conventions as well. We like to show everything, but we always keep things together because if somebody wants all the red deck stuff, which is all the like the um, you know the dirty and the, the um, not safe for work decks. Both red decks generally sell together. If someone comes up and asks for one red deck, we'll say, well, we have another one as well. It's like, yeah, well, I'll take both of them because I need all of the red cards. I don't want just half of the red cards. So keeping them together. Uh, another really great um, sales tip that I think is um, impulse placement right by the counter. You know, obviously, I know that your counter spaces are probably small, uh, and maybe you might have a lot of room, but a lot of people already have Superfight. It's been out for quite a few years. Um, so they might just forget that they would like more expansions for them. So maybe test trying to keep a couple of these bundles right at the cash wrap so that they can see like, oh yeah, that's right. I have super fight. I needed a couple extra expansions to go, you know, with my game at home. I was, I was looking for the new hotness, but guess what? I, I actually need this expansion and it's an extra $15 sale right there. And don't be afraid to open them up. Now, this is something that maybe some of you will, you know, not want to do, but we often have people come up to our um, booth and say, well, what's in the, uh, the Minecraft deck or what's in the history deck? And on the back, it might say what's in there, but nothing is better than opening it up right there, showing them a couple of the cards from it. I'm telling you nine times out of 10, they will look at a couple cards and say, oh yeah, I need this. And you can usually just sell them that one you opened. So you're not stuck with an open one. They're just like, yeah, we'll take this one. Now, if they decide not to, that rare opportunity, well, you have one open that you can then display to other people. And usually, like I said, it's not a, a too big of a deal, so long as they're not super worn, right? You're like not using it as a demo deck, you're just using it as a presentation. The, um, the red deck is great for this as well because people are wondering how dirty the dirty cards get. You know, so I mean, if you feel comfortable with it, showing your cus certain customers that, opening them up, showing them just a couple, they say, oh yes, I need this and I need both of them. You know, make sure I come home with those. So impulse items don't, don't be afraid to open them up uh, and displaying them together uh, is something that, you know, I, I think would help move them just a little bit more for you if you're having trouble moving expansions. You know, one of the things, Matt, that I really like about the expansions for Super Fight, and mind you, I have every single expansion because this is my son's like favorite party game. He's taken it to church outings. He's taken it to Boy Scout outings. He's taken it on, you know, overnights with his friends and everything like that. The really cool thing is that depending on what type of store a retailer has, they may have people who lean more towards one thing or another aside from just games. So they may have, um, you know, for example, based on proximity or anything like that, that may have an arcade nearby, right? Sure. And if it's something like that, then things like the anime decks and the Street Fighter decks and the Minecraft deck, things like that will tend to like drive people towards that kind of type of purchasing. So with so many different ones, you're able to actually like merchandise the, the main game with the expansions, the way that fits your store the best. Um, I know, for example, in uh, Austin, where I live, there's a retailer that actually has Super Fight in two different locations in their store. They have it in their board game area where it has all the base you know, expansions like you know, the sword and sorcery deck and things like that. But then they also put it into their kids and family game area, which is generally for like 10 and under, but they put it in there with the green deck, the G-rated deck, yep, and they, yep. they show that, hey, you can play this game with your family, with younger kids, which is really cool. So I've seen some, some retailers get pretty creative on how to merchandise the product, both you know, what things to put next to it and where to put it in the store, which is really kind of cool. Yeah, and if, again, you know, talking back on like keeping it by your cash wrap, uh, merchandising it with events that might be happening or movies that are out, you know, if um, say the finale of The Walking Dead or The Walking Dead show is on, you have a big customer base, keeping Walking Dead decks right at the counter, you know, might help move them as well. In, and, uh, and yeah, there's nothing in the core deck that I think is, uh, you know, too bad for ages 10 and under. I mean, and even oh, if yeah. you could even say if there was uh, you could always take out a couple cards if something was, you know. For sure. Yeah, the main, the main core deck is very, it's very yeah. clean. The, to me, the, I'm sorry, Scott, go on. No, I was going to say, the, to me, the core deck's beauty is that it, you know, while the tagline is a game of absurd arguments, it's a game that scales in kind of uh, how racy it is based on the group that plays it, right? Yeah. You, you can have, it's, it's not like Cards Against Humanity that's always adult and everything like that. This is yeah. something that I've seen a group of 10-year-olds play the game and they're just laughing out loud, right? They're just, they're just having a blast. So. Yeah, and another thing is that it, you, you learn it in two minutes, right? Less than two minutes, which is why I think, you know, having, making sure everyone has a demo copy at their store 
where you can just have, you know, they, maybe your customers can play around right at the cash wrap, like just like we do at the booth. We have people come up and say, well, what's super fight? I mean, not everybody knows what super fight is, even though it's been around for a while. What's super fight? Well, let me show you. And then take a couple cards, give another customer a couple cards. Next thing you know, you have everybody around the counter playing the game. And you're saying, okay, we'll play your cards, play your cards, and now debate, you know, say who's going to win this fight. And if anyone's thinking that that might be too shallow, I mean, there are other expansion decks that like our dungeon mode or our fortress mode or stuff like that, which gives you um, some of the challenge deck is a great example of saying, where are these two people going to fight? Just adding more fuel to the fire, but getting people interactive right at the cash wrap can move the product even faster. We go through so much super fight every convention because we have people playing it. This goes with the red flags. This goes with pitch storm. Uh, it's going to go with trial by trolley. Trial by trolley is a little more of a setup, but still like these games that you just give cards to people and let them play. I'm telling you nine times out of 10, they're going to go home with a copy and a couple expansions. For sure. For sure. Um, I do have a couple of questions and they're both really yeah. good. Um, the first one I'll knock out really quickly. Um, Jason had asked, is there a deal to get a demo of super fight? Uh, there is. So Skybound is part of the GTS demo program. So you can buy one copy of a base game per year uh, per brick and mortar storefront that you have. So if you have like two or three storefronts, you can buy two or three copies. Um, you get them at 25% of SRP. So that's a great opportunity for you if you do want to have a demo copy to be able to have in the store. Um, now, just so everybody knows and we're all clear on that. It, while that's available, you, you cannot purchase a demo copy and get a free expansion with the offer. The, the free expansion for what we're talking about for this, uh, this week until next Wednesday is buying a, a regular unit at regular price. So, um, but yes, they are part of our demo program and that goes for all the Skybound games. So Trial by Trolley, uh, Wonderland's War, which is going to be coming out later on all the things Thurster that are City, available. Like City just launched. If you don't Thurster have Thurster City, City has been your score, amazing. <laughs> To your uh, buyer and get a copy in your store because uh, I think any of these games sell way better when people actually like get to not only open the box and look at them but play them. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Um, another question, uh, Derek Furman, who is our resident, I'm here every week guy, and I love him for it. I heard about um, you. <laughs> he has a great question. He says, "Have you guys ever thought about creating a cardboard display for the games?" Um, otherwise known as a pop display, a point yeah. of purchase display, something that you could maybe have the core game and a couple of expansions next to it, or you may have one of those already and we just may not know about it. No, I, well, I, I did mention we did have a, a cardboard pop up for some expansions at one point in time. We might still have some of those in the warehouse. We had to check on them uh, to display that, but we, we currently don't have any um, freestanding uh, display, you know, marketing materials for your stores right, right now. Uh, it's definitely something that. Um, I really like myself. Uh, just to give you everybody here who's watching, um, I, this is my first year with the company uh, as retail sales manager uh, for the tabletop of all Skybound. Um, I'm looking into all of this stuff. So as I see people, you know, as I go into stores and I see different setups, I'm constantly getting ideas and seeing what, what works and what doesn't, what's cost efficient, you know, and all that stuff costs money, right? And we're, we're working on what we wanna get out there for you guys to be able to display this product even better. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm taking that uh, feedback <laughs> into serious consideration because if that's something you guys want, uh, you know, I'll push for it to get it out to your stores. Yeah, no, that's, that's great. Um, Manuel just asked, could you repeat the deal for the week uh, for the demo copy and ordering? Yes, so two different things. Um, so the deal of the week is that anyone who buys a base game of Super Fight, which is the SK, uh, SKY 432 SKU that you see here on the screen right now, if you buy a core deck between now and next Wednesday, the 19th, you're eligible to get a free expansion of your choice, which all the expansions are listed there on the right. Um, pending availability and, and stock, there's some warehouses that may or may not have one or two of those, but if for any reason you go to your warehouse and they don't have the one you're looking for, let us know because all of these are in stock and available and we can get them and, and stock them up. There's just some that quite frankly sell in better regions of the country and better places of the country because there's so many different ones. Um, the demo program is, <clears throat> GTS has a formalized demo program. A large amount of, of publishers are involved in it, um, but it's essentially you can buy a core game, uh, no expansions, just a core game, 25% of SRP, and you can buy that one copy per year per storefront if you're a brick and mortar store. Um, so if you do have any need to get Superfight or Sorcerer City or any of the games from Skybound as a demo in your uh, store, just contact your GTS sales rep. They can set all that up for you on the, the system and get it going for it. So it's pretty good. 
Alex just asked a question. I'm a fan of what Looney Labs did. They made a generic display for their Flux games. Something similar could be done for Super Fight. Yeah, that's true. You don't need to have something that's you know dedicated to just a specific expansion or anything. Sure. Yeah, we have quite a few party games. Adding one with Trial by Trolley today going forward it might not be a bad idea just to have a Skybound uh, counter display or freestanding <laughs> display that we could send out there. Uh, I'll certainly look into it. I mean, again, this is feedback that I'm going to be, you know, pass it along and maybe uh, it'll come to fruition. You know what else is good to know? And, and this is something that probably doesn't translate in the physical pictures that we see. The expansions don't fall over. Um, that's something that's really nice. These, these expansions are much thicker than a traditional like deck box of cards. So if you just have them freestanding on a counter, they're not like a, you know, a deck of playing cards that's going to fall forward or fall backward. They're, they're locked solid and they're going to stand up pretty straight. So I know some retailers always have a concern about that, especially when you get into smaller packaging like that. And even worse, if you get into smaller packaging and like the seams on the bottom and then things fall forward and fall backward, it can get kind of crazy. But these are pretty stable, which is really good. So. Yeah, it's what we do. It's what we do at every convention at this point. We did have, we do have a big cardboard pop up to sh like just nicely display everyone. Mm -hmm. But recently we've started a new booth setup. Um, so we don't have as much room for that. So we've been using our counter space to just freestand them exactly like you said, and we'll take one of each, uh, maybe maybe six or seven different ones and just put them out there so that when people ask about Super Fight, you know, we can show them the game. And then these are all the expansions and then they start grabbing them and looking at them. And it's that yeah. ownership, right? As they have them in their hands and they're looking at them and say, well, I definitely need these to go with my game, so. It's also pretty funny. Um, there, I remember a, a different store, not the one that did the, the separation of the, the two areas in, in their local area, but there was another store that I walked into. I want to say it was in Arizona, um, but I thought it was really neat because as you can see here, all the expansions are different colors and, and you know, they're, they're driven around, you know, being able to, you know, see them and, and kind of relate to what they're going to be. And I saw a store that actually used a bunch of the expansions to create like a small display with the different colors and they actually had it as like a rainbow. So they stacked the super fight game in the center and then they had the expansions going up over it like an arc. So they had like six expansions of each where it was like, you know, an overarching of all the different colors, which was really kind of creative and very cool. Yeah. <laughs> it's almost like those soda can displays you see in grocery yeah. stores. Like <laughs> yeah. Spell out, go Bills. Um, exactly. But I'm going to, uh, or I, I have another uh, uh, photo here from our challenge deck. I'm going to try to, I'm going to stop the share on this right now. If anybody, by the way, needs this sell sheet, um, I don't know if they can save this image, but I can email it, email me, email yeah, we, Scott. We got it so we can get it out to everybody. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Like I'm going to, I'm going to hold off on that. I'm going to share another one here. And I think, let's see, is this a folder? Oh. Yeah, there you go. Maybe. That's just showing the thumbnail in your folder, but if you double click on it, I'm sure it'll open up. Open, how do I want to open this? I want to open it as a picture, man. <laughs> oh, there we go. Maybe? Uh, not on the screen yet, no. Not on the screen, all right, stop and share. Let's That's okay. <laughs> I'll pull it back. I'll pull it back out here in a second as we uh, maybe just out onto the desktop will be a little easier for me. It might be when you when you click the share button, you might need to specifically choose the program that it's showing the picture in. Maybe. Yeah, there you go. Yep. Great. So something like this is a really simple setup. Um, okay. So obviously they have the core open with a couple and they're using a few different decks here to mix it up. Like they have um, an anime deck with um, the core that looks like they have the walking dead deck out as well and they're using the challenge deck to kind of show what our different expansions would do as you can see this does not take up a lot of space but you can get a lot of players around this little spot and hand everybody a couple cards and have them play around so this is again just an idea of how we sometimes will set this up at conventions and help help sell the game you know, another good point that could help retailers in terms of like when people ask questions about them, um, if you notice the uh, in the upper right, there's the Superfight anime deck and it has that kind of ninja star with the circle. Well, the cards are all thematically aligned to that on the front. The back of them all look the same. So when you're shuffling the decks and mixing them all together, they all look the same. But the front has color coding for one type of card. And then the white cards will have those, like that Bloodstain is for the Walking Dead deck, which is on the box. The Afro Samurai there has the Super Fight uh, Ninja Star at the bottom, just like the anime deck. So if even if you're someone who buys like three or four expansions, 
it's super easy to separate the cards out when you're going through the deck. If you want to say, Hey, we need to take this deck out and put this deck in or anything like that. It's that it seems like a small detail, but it's a really, really good thing, especially if you get into a whole bunch of the different expansions all at once. I love this hot dog eating contest card, by the way. Yeah, right. <laughs> Joan is, is, is fighting to protect her family in a hot dog eating contest. Well, like you do, right? <laughs> like no, you why do. not, right? Uh, yeah, so get those demo copies. Don't be afraid to crack these open. Let your customers play with them. And I just think you're going to see more movement on them. And then therefore you'll be hopefully ordering some more up to, you know, get some better sales in your stores. Sure. Um, I did just get a question actually through Facebook IM. So apparently some people are using that instead of the, sure, great. the webinar. That's okay. Um, can you talk a little bit about Trial by Trolley, they asked. They wanted to know more about the, the game and the, the demo. Sure, game. I would love to talk about Trial by Trolley. So shifting gears a little bit, let me um, let me bring up that because I do have a, uh, a sell sheet for Trial, I think. And that's like brand spanking new. <laughs> the release date for Trial by Trolley is today. So if you don't have it in your stores yet, make sure you get them ordered. And We've had a uh, fair amount of pre-orders on that game too. Yeah, it's yeah, very, exactly. Very well. Let me, um, bring this over here and open it up. And sorry for the wait on this. but I'm, No, that's okay. That's all right. I feel like this is the first time I've ever used the internet. All right. So <laughs> <laughs> how, how are we looking? Can we see all that? Yep, I can see it all. Yep, yep. Great. Um, Trial by Trolley is our newest game that we partnered with Cyanide and Happiness for. Their last game was Joking Hazard. Uh, Joking Hazard is not a Skybound game, but it was Cyanide and Happiness. It did really well. Um, they sold tons of units. They have lots of expansions for that. They're still selling Joking Hazard. Uh, we partnered with them to do this new game to give it a little bit more um, a game behind it. They had a great idea. And some of our, I'm going to kind of scroll it down just a little bit here. Uh, some of our game uh, developers in house helped make this something that I think is going to last even longer than just needing expansions. Um, uh, basically, the idea is that um, this is a three to however many player game you have, really. Um, but one player will play as a trolley operator, and two teams will sit on each side of the table, and they're going to be taking turns placing cards down on the tracks. And eventually, after three or more cards are played, the um, trolley operator is going to have to decide which side of the tracks he's going to run over, kill everybody on one side, and uh, whoever um, dies on that side gets a death token. There are these little tokens here. And at the end of the game, whoever has the most death tokens loses the game. You don't want death tokens. Uh, everybody gets an opportunity to be the conductor once. So if you have six players, it's gonna, you're going to pass this whole like, little separate train tracks around the table. So everybody gets a chance to make that decision and debate. Um, what really kind of, I think, sets this one apart is obviously you're creating dilemmas for them to debate, just like a lot of party games, but we have these modifier cards. So after the tracks are down, you start placing modifier cards and it changes every single card in any way. Uh, for instance, if I don't know if I can zoom in here, but this one is, uh, it points at one thing and it says, we'll solve world hunger in the next three years. So you might have something really bad and saying, well, I'm definitely going to run that over. However, the modifier will come out at the last second and say, but this person's going to solve world hunger. You don't want to run over them. And it just creates this explosion of laughs. And it, like, I've seen full tables of like 10 to 15 people, you know, just yelling at each other, trying to get one person to run over, you know, the other side of the tracks. Uh, this wrap, this had um, 55,000 backers on Kickstarter. We raised close to $4 million on this one. And uh, yeah, pre-orders were crazy. Uh, this just came out today. We're probably looking at an expansion even as soon as Gen Con uh, to start getting more content out for it. Uh, it's $25 MSRP and it, ha it has, I think it's, um, <clears throat> I don't know where I was going with that with my second part. It's 25 bucks. <laughs> you can get a demo, demo copy of this too. I do have to say, uh, if you scroll down a little bit to the, the oh, bottom yeah. of that, yeah, yeah. Um, huge missed marketing opportunity to not have that will solve world hunger in the next three years, pointing to the horseman card and pointing to famine specifically. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that would have been dastardly hilarious. <laughs> yeah, exactly. No, they, they decided to put it on the trolley. Sure. Uh, I love trolleys. Ar already you don't want to run them over. I right, think they double, yeah. they double downed on the fact of saying, hey, you don't want to run over this other trolley. Of, or of you could children. be like me. I don't like surprise birthday parties and you know, <laughs> I'm going to go down the other track. So going yeah. Down the other track, yeah. This is so, definitely, I've had the opportunity to play this game three times myself and it literally back to back to back at a show 
and it was there was not a single moment where people were not laughing out loud. Now, for sure, this is definitely a game that's more of an older audience than Super sure. Fight. Super Fight, you're going to be able to play with kids and have no problem with that. But um, this is this is sparked some of the craziest debates I've ever had with my friends at shows playing this game because you're like, what do you mean? Are you crazy? Why would you run that person over? This is what's going to happen. Are you really that kind of person? And it's like, it's just. <laughs> That's I brought this game to my family's Christmas party uh, and kind of started showing them. And they're like, what is this game? I'm like, this game is why I have a job. <laughs> I'm like, this, this is it right here. And uh, everyone's laughing. But we got a chance to play a couple rounds. And uh, yeah, get a, get, yeah, get a copy of this in your store. Same idea. Get it open. Get people playing it. Uh, this is going to sound like a funny thing to say because we don't really talk about a lot of this stuff. But I think it's a good thing to point out. When, when we as a distributor are looking at Kickstarter and we see people doing well or not doing well on Kickstarter, we do have some opinions of, hey, once something gets to a certain point, it might hit saturation. It might be too many backers and it might not really translate into hobby retail distribution. This is without a doubt the most successful Kickstarter that has transitioned into a high volume of pre-orders for retail as well. Normally, like if someone came to me and said, I have this great board game and we did 50,000 backers, I would be like, that's cool. I'm not so sure if it's going to translate. You know, you might have hit max capacity on that. But we had like quadruple digits of numbers on this for, for pre-orders, which was great to see. So that's something that tells me that it's not only resonated, obviously, with your backers, but it's going to resonate in the retail community as well as a game that once you're playing it with a group of like 10 people and there's only one copy of it, somebody's going to want to go buy another copy of it right now, which is really good. Any questions out there for trial or anything like that? No, no questions came up for trial at all, but just the one that came through on Facebook asking to, to talk about it real quick. So yeah, appreciate you covering sure. it. Well, I hope really I and just as a reminder that. again, you know, this is another one that if you wanted to get a demo copy of it, contact your GTS sales rep, they can get you hooked up, you'll get 25% of SRP for that. Yeah, so. that, that's one thing that we really, you know, Skybound Druid City, the whole, we want you to be able to have a game in your store. So anyone that allows us to do demo programs so that you can get a demo copy in your store, we, we definitely want to be part of that. So no. Alex, uh, uh, Alex Potter just said, I'm very excited for trials. So that's good to see. Awesome. Uh, Manuel said trials in stock today. Yes, actually. Um, so we've been taking pre-orders on it, Manuel. Um, we did already receive our first shipment from Skybound and those have gone out to retailers for the release today. Um, if you haven't gotten it yet, definitely, you know, you can go online or you can check with your GTS sales rep and they can get you an order set up for it. And I'm sure this is one that we're going to be restocking for quite a while because it's brand new. Got a lot of yeah, I hope people are seeing success with Sorcerer City as well. Sorcerer City uh, yeah. launched a few weeks ago. Uh, a big one of our big box uh, board games, uh, getting great early reviews. Uh, same deal. Get a copy. Check it out. Show your guests. There's tons of videos, uh, reviews, um, mm -hmm. Uh, basically stuff that you can learn about that game online. Uh, but yeah, hopefully that one's doing well for you as well. Awesome. Awesome. Well, that's all the questions that have come in. So my question for you, Matt, is if anyone has any follow-up questions, what's the easiest way to get in touch with you or somebody at Skybound just to ask like a generic question? Or oh, you guys can most certainly contact me. Uh, my email um, is, so it's mfelici at skybound.com. Um, okay. Scott, is that something that you'll be able to share yeah, out? Right in the chat right now. Yeah, yep. it's, it's extremely simple after you get past spelling my last name. <laughs> so, <laughs> it's, uh, it's mfelici at skybound.com. Uh, reach out to me. Any questions that you have, I'd be glad to answer them. Uh, move them up the chain if I have to, but hopefully I can take care of everything myself. That's where I'm. <laughs> that's what I'm working on. That's why they pay you the medium bucks, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. Awesome. And of course, if anyone has any questions, you can reach out to me directly. My email is smorris at gtsdistribution.com. You can also reach out and contact your GTS sales rep too. Um, Derek says, Jax is showing zero on hand for Charlie. Yes. So we, Jax was a warehouse that sold through its entire run so that we have open POs for it. I do not know right immediately off the top of my head on the ETA on it, but I can tell you that I know that it's not out of stock with Skybound. So the open PO should be being filled pretty darn quickly. I mean, we usually we have got like it. Two, we, yeah, let us get you more. Yeah, we usually have like a two or three day turnaround on it. So yep, for sure. um, I'll reach out, Derek, I'll reach out to your sales rep. Just make sure they know that you're, you'd asked about that and we'll make sure. But I know 
I know we have POs back uh, for restock already for the three major hubs for Washington, St. Louis, and Jacksonville. Um, but that, yeah, it's, it's been very popular over the last couple of weeks leading up to the release today. So, so cool. All right. Well, Matt, thanks, man. I really do appreciate you joining, you know, Skybound has been a really great partner for us and you guys have such a you know broad catalog of so many different things to be able to offer, not just party games, like you were talking about with Sorcerer City and Guardians Call and so many different board games that are available out there. And, you know, now that you've said like, you know, you're kind of brand new to the company and, you know, coming in from, you know, a lot of retail experience. I think it's going to be a, a great shift forward for even more success in the future. So it's good Thank stuff. Thank you, Scott. I'm, I'm glad just to even sit here and chat and hang out for a little bit. It's been a pleasure. <laughs> uh, hopefully, uh, you know, like I said, if anyone's got any questions, uh, hopefully I shed some light on some new stuff and maybe some expansions. And uh, yeah, we'll look forward to talking with you soon. Sure. Uh, Manuel just said one last comment. He said, thanks for the webinars. These are great. Yeah, that's, that's, I appreciate that, man. Well, we've gotten a lot of good feedback yeah. around it, so it's good. So, um, and then Derek just asked a question, if we order two or three core super fight, can we get a free expansion for each or limit one free? There is a limit of one free. Yeah, we were, we're, we're not able to offer like, you know, you know buy a hundred and get a hundred, uh, hundred expansions for free. Cause I think we might put Skybound out of business if we did that. <laughs> so, <laughs> well, you're going to be sitting on a lot of cord decks too. <laughs> you might. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, but, uh, yeah, no, it, it is a, it is a one-to-one -one thing for that. So, but by all means, don't let that stop you from ordering two or three of the core decks. So definitely. So. Cool. All right. Well, retailers, as always, thank you very much. I know your time is precious. Uh, I do really appreciate the positive feedback. I'm glad that we're getting some good information for you guys out there to be able to help in the stores. Matt, thank you. Please pass on our thanks to everybody at Skybound. And until we see you next time, have a great week in your stores. Take care. Thanks, guys.